My name's Nicole, I'm a tea writer and educator, and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. The other day I realized that those of you who subscribe to this channel probably know by now that I really love tea, but you don't know a whole lot else about me. I thought it might be fun to do a things you don't know about me type video. Um, so I'm going to talk about some things other than tea about me that you might not know, but you might find interesting. So first I'm going to talk about some of my interests outside of tea, um, and then I'm going to answer some of the questions that I got on Instagram. I am a big bookworm. I do write a lot about tea books, so that might not come as a surprise to many of you. Um, but other than tea, I do actually really love just reading books. It's always been a hobby of mine um, since I was a little kid. I just love reading. Um, and in particular, I do really love Jane Austen. So that's these books are Jane Austen. Um, and Pride and Prejudice is definitely one of my favorites. That was actually sort of the theme for mine and Jason's wedding. Um, so my my bouquet was actually made out of the pages of Pride and Prejudice. I had that special word on Etsy. I also really love plants. Uh, this Monstera is the latest edition, but all of our windowsills are filled with plants, including my tea plant that I made a video about. I also have succulents, pothos, fiddle leaf fig, um, all kinds of different plants. Um, I just really love them and they make me happy. I also really love animals. Um, so this is Fred and Ethel, um, and they are our guinea pigs. Um, I really love all kinds of animals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We can't have dogs and cats at the apartment that we live in right now, um, but Fred and Ethel are happy to get spoiled until then. So on to the questions that I got on Instagram. Um, someone had asked where I shop for clothes. That was actually asked by Nazanin at Tea Thoughts. I'm wearing her shirt right now. Um, so part of the answer to that question is I buy a lot of my clothes from Tea Thoughts. I've got socks and all kinds of shirts from her shop. I used to work at Anthropology, so I have quite a lot of clothes from there. Um, they're a little expensive, so without an employee discount, I don't really shop there much anymore. <laughs> I have gotten into vintage style clothes a little bit lately. I don't own a lot of true vintage yet, um, but I do like to shop at places like Mod Cloth or Unique Vintage for kind of repro vintage style items. Someone also asked where would I travel once that's possible. Um, there's definitely a lot of tea destinations I want to go to, but I definitely feel the most drawn to visiting Japan. Um, that's been kind of on my list for the last few years. Um, with the way things are right now, that's not really possible at all um, to travel really anywhere, but um, I would definitely eventually really like to visit Japan. Someone also asked what hobbies I have. Tea is definitely a huge part of my life and takes up a lot of my free time. I also do enjoy other beverages. Um, so I really do enjoy wine and whiskey and I've recently gotten a little bit into coffee. I think no matter what, tea is going to be my number one hobby though. Someone also asked what drew me to tea. Um, so I've told this story a few times. I don't know if I've done it on the channel here though. Um, so. I have always been a lifelong tea drinker, um, but it was Red Rose tea bags with milk and sugar um, that I would drink before bed with my mom. And then when I went away to college, um, I started kind of branching out, trying different things at the grocery store. Um, and during that time, I was Googling to find new flavors to try. Um, and first I was completely mind blown that loose leaf tea was a thing. Um, I hadn't really even heard of that before. And then I found a website called Tea Views. They recently shut down, but I was able to sign on as a kind of staff tea reviewer for them. Um, so for a few years, they would send me packets with all these samples of tea and I would write about them. Um, and if that sounds familiar, that's kind of what I do on my blog in addition to educational articles now. Um, so my blog originally started as a way of backing up the writing I was doing for tea views um, and then it kind of took on a life of its own from there. Um, so that in a nutshell is kind of how I got drawn into tea. Of course I love the taste of tea but I also really love the way that it has connected me to different people from all over the world. Um, I've learned about different cultures, geography, world history. 
it's been an amazing tool for me to connect and explore. Um, and I definitely am so grateful to T for giving that to me. So I hope that answers your questions. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if there's other things you would like to know about me as so I can definitely see about making another one of these videos in the future. If you're watching, um, also leave me a comment letting me know something about you that I might not know. Um, I would love to get to know all of you more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.